Hey, hope you're doing all really well. Um, so I really wanted to go ahead and do a quick review of this Casa Brews uh, 4700. So this just came out about four months ago, I think. Uh, this is definitely a budget machine. The main reason why I wanted it is twofold. <laughs> it's a great price. Um, I picked this up for about 180 bucks. Um, just kind of to, to share with you, I got my ECP over here, DeLonghi, uh, that retails for about 170 to 180, depending on where you get it. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for, um, I think it was 40, 50 bucks, something like that. And I've upgraded, of course, with a port filter and all that stuff. So first thing I just want to let you know, uh, this is definitely an upgraded bottomless porter filter. And this is the first thing, it's a little bit of a quirk uh, with this particular unit is that it's the port filter is really tiny. But anyway, so this is a bottomless Casa Brews port filter. The second reason why I really wanted this machine is it's a uh, 58 uh, millimeter uh, brew head. So that's the commercial grade brew head. Uh, Y'all, I am so like just stoked to have this because I, I, I just, you know, who doesn't want to have professional tools, use precision baskets, all that good stuff. It comes stock with a dual uh, spout, not this, uh, porter filter. The porter filter seems pretty nice. I mean, it's definitely not anything bad. Um, one of the things that's pretty cool is that, you know, a lot of companies, they want to do like a pressurized basket, like if they're going to do a budget. But this is kind of made for that. I don't want to call it pro, pro consumer. I would say this is more like uh, folks who... Uh, are budget-minded but want good quality. That That's the best way to put it. Um, if you're like me, that that's exactly how I am. I'm pulling this out, so I wanted to show you. This is not a pressurized basket, and it does come with a double dose and a single dose. Um, one cool thing is I've noticed that with some of these porta filters, with some of their manufacturers, you get it, and there's a lot of plastic in the bottom of the porta filter. There is new plastic. Uh, this kind of feels, um, I don't want to use the word cheap, but it's just lighter. Um, there's no other way to say it. I mean, it's plastic. I, I, I'm not unhappy. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But I love a good naked uh, bottomless porter filter. So um, I had to do the upgrade. This particular one on Amazon was about $45. I think Casa Brews has it for about 40 or 45 on their site. Um, totally worth it. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna show you how it works. Uh, one of the things that's really cool is it does have a, a extra spout. Uh, if you wanna make Americanos, I love Americanos personally. Um, I, when I make my coffee, I, there's a lot of folks out there and I love them and all, but they're just like, oh man, there's so much water in your espresso. Oh, you know, if, if you like uh, the the single dose or, uh, you know, the uh, you know, basically, um, I, I like a longo personally, or I like double. I, I just like a lot. So anyway, brew how you want to brew. So I went ahead and pre-portioned, oh my goodness gracious, some beans. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I'm going to edit this. So if you all see this. Uh, look, look at me, already party foul in the moment. <laughs> I did this. Oh my goodness, so professional. Um, but I, I pre-portioned basically about 15 and a half grams. Um, I, I have a basket coming that is about a uh, 20 some gram. It's a bomber, a precision basket. I, I'm excited about that. And uh, yeah, super cool. Got my more. Alrighty. So, like I said, if this is the kind of unit, if you're very budget budget minded, and you really want to make sure that uh, you don't break the bank, uh, like I said, this is about the same retail price, brand new as my ECP DeLonghi, uh, the, one, the version I have with all the metal around it. Uh, what I really love is that this unit 
it is all basically uh, metal. There, there is some parts that are plastic right up here. And I'm gonna be honest, and um, there's just no other way to say it. it. It doesn't feel crazy premium when it comes to the plastic parts, but it, you really can't tell, especially on camera. I know it sounds goofy. For me, it's not a deal breaker. You know, um, well, there's a lot of folks out there that want to have a machine that has, you know, all the heritage and the history and, you know, it's from Italy and all that good stuff. And there's not anything wrong with that. There's a lot of professional baristas out there. There's a lot of wonderful home baristas. Uh, me, I, I am just an average Joe dude who loves Jesus and loves coffee. So I, I just, I'm, I'm cool with getting something cheap. And I'm very okay with the budget. Um, I was looking at one of the and legatos um but for this price point i, I couldn't beat it i couldn't say no so definitely this is this is for the budget-minded who wants good quality now i don't officially i looked and it doesn't say anything about uh pre-infusion but when you listen i'm gonna have you listen now when we brew and you're gonna hear it sounds like pre-infusion so but it, the site doesn't say anything about that there is a pid control for the temperature it's not a, something that's a variable one, like you get with the really expensive units where you know you can choose the temp, but it's either hot or regular, and th that's fine with me too. You know, like I said, budget friendly, so I'm okay with that. Um, it has basically you can choose your dose amounts. It comes preset with dose amounts. It, they they can be changed. So even though it's a semi-automatic or whatever machine, uh, the dosing amounts can be changed. That is definitely something pretty cool. Um, I, I'm pretty happy with the amounts that are coming out. I, I'm not gonna weigh it when I put it out because I just kind of want you guys to see this kind of off cuff here. So let me go ahead. Got a little, just working on some pump prep here. Like I said, a little tight coming out. Kind of have to use two hands. I did notice that when I first got it, it was a lot harder. And I've only had it for about a day. And even in that day, I'm, I'm like breaking it in or something. <laughs> as goofy as that sounds. Uh, there is a forum on Facebook for folks who own these Casa Brew machines. And I, I know I'm not the only person who's experienced that. So definitely interesting. Um, when you do buy the Casa Brews um, bottomless portafilter, you decide to get that, and this is kind of a review of that as well, you do get a puck screen with it. And I did, I do have a norm core, uh, excuse me, uh, I do have a bomber puck screen that I will be doing a review on. So that, uh, be expecting that pretty soon. I was just thinking because I do want a norm core too. Picked this distributor up on Amazon. Uh, has like a walnut finish. Dig it. Love that it's the, you know, 58 millimeter. I think I'm going to do like a gravity one later on. Um, picked up the Me Coffee. Uh, has the kind of like spiral on the bottom. Uh, it's a spring-loaded, uh, good, good price on Amazon as well. Maybe I'll do a review on that one. All right, that's, we'll just do that one for good measure. Okay. And like I said, it's kind of a, a two-hander. When I, I find that when you put the, um, basically puck in, uh, excuse me, the uh, uh, puck screen, it's a little harder to even turn. But again, it all comes down to, even if you aren't, I, I've used this like you all saw this before, even without my espresso in there, it's still a little hard to turn. So if you get this machine, don't worry out, don't worry, you're not breaking it. So let me take you a little bit closer so I could show you uh, from the mirror. And of course I, I put a shot mirror in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Like I said, I like to do a double. Uh, there is about 16 grams in there. 
To do a double, you hit it twice for the button. The... See, it sounds like a pre-infusion. I could be wrong. Probably am. guys i really appreciate remember to like and subscribe uh you know these videos this is a new channel so i always appreciate the support if you know uh you want to do so i really appreciate that let me go ahead and put that right there give it a little mix uh, i was reading a lot of reviews that have been put up so far and there's a lot of folks like i'm not getting any crema it's probably pub prep. Oh, delicious. Um, this is a Guatemalan. I really love it. Kind of a, a medium to dark roast. Oh, yeah, I really enjoy that. Um, it's a good, good cup of espresso. Uh, I'm loving it. So here's the bottom line. I, I think this is a great buy if you're budget-minded. If you're a person who you want to have the commercial grade, pro-consumer, you know, um, spend four, 500 is a budget grade when it comes to that. So for 180, for the same price as you get the DeLonghi, uh, maybe I'll do a head-to-head -head video at some point. I'm very happy with this. Uh, I, I definitely recommend it. As you can see, I, I, I'm a coffee geek. I love buying all the tools and all that stuff and getting into this. This satisfies my coffee geek cart and ultimately this satisfies <laughs> my God sensitive wallet. Uh, this is, this isn't even, it's funny when I hear coffee people talk about uh, the price and what's budget and what's not budget. I was watching a video and someone was saying like $500 was like the budget machine. And it's true in the commercial world, but I'm just saying, I highly would recommend this. Anybody looking for a 58 millimeter uh, commercial size port of filter uh, with, with some good bells and whistles, but not like crazy stuff. Uh, of course, I don't have a gauge on here and, I, and there's there's some things I don't have, but I, I'm very excited about this. Um, this is definitely a good buy. So I'm pretty stoked. Like I said, remember to like and subscribe. Hope, <laughs> hope you like this, uh, you know. If I could say anything, just do you. Be positive, do you. Uh, like I said, I'm just a guy who likes coffee and Jesus. So, uh, yeah. Have a good one. Hope you enjoy it.